Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. I've done so many videos in this period that except my bathroom, I think, <laughs> I've shot everywhere. So that's terrible with a camera. So there was no question of that. <laughs> I'd rather, you know, do a, a self-shot video than have him shoot me. <laughs> and he'd be like, no, no, this is perfect. This is perfect. If I looked at the frame, it would be disastrous. <laughs>
But now I've begun to do everything myself. And really? I actually realized, yeah, and I actually realized that it's not that tough. <laughs> you know, also because we were we were short staffed at home, so it's not like I had the luxury of having someone uh, shoot me, and so that's terrible with a camera. So there was no question of that. <laughs> I'd rather, you know, do a, a self shot video than have him shoot me. <laughs> and he'd be like, "No, no, this is perfect. This is perfect." If I looked at the frame, it would be disastrous. <laughs> so I realized that. But also in terms of, I've done a lot of work around the house. but you know um honestly i do a lot of work around the house because i am a home body mm-hmm. i'm someone who loves spending time at home so and i love cleaning and that's very therapeutic for me except that my now it sorry, was sorry i managed to fix a tap at home using a youtube video is there something how, you're particularly proud of how cool is that you know so i've fixed little little things I've not even changed the bulb in my life, and uh, you know that sounds ridiculous, but, but I've just not done it. You know, so I there was a lamp that broke because of the wind one day. So I fixed the lamp. Some jugaad I did, and I fixed it. I even tried to fix my air conditioner, which had conked. And uh, those days we weren't really getting a mechanic, so I called the mechanic, and on video I tried to fix it. It didn't get wow. fixed. It ha- happened to be a bigger problem, but I'm very happy of. you know of, of of those little accomplishments and yeah. uh, i started watering my plants daily daily as in every alternate day mm-hmm. and i felt like the plants were growing better <laughs> you know i keep telling sudhat every day isn't this growing better and he just smile because you know when you do it yourself you you begin to notice everything that much more yeah um yeah i tried my hand at cooking a little bit and um i have to say i'm no longer intimidated by cooking so one i've hated the thought of having to go into the kitchen because i always felt that you know i associated cooking with domestication and uh, this time it was a choice thankfully i had someone at home who was cooking for us but i felt like getting into the kitchen and secondly um you know i realized that it's not that tough you know of course i'm not like a a good cook or anything but i'm saying you can rustle up things if there were a need inspiring me i haven't got there yet i rely on the <laughs> cooks i clean <laughs> and that's the best i know lots of friends who've done that actually <laughs> yeah. but you know with another thing that's really changed in the lockdown is how you promote a film in a yeah. covid world we'd be doing this in person right now you're in the comfort of your home and i'm curious to know what is it about promotions that you aren't missing so much um i'm not missing going on the reality tv shows <laughs> at all but what i'm missing is the hecticness what i'm missing is that you know like two days ago when the trailer dropped i was telling siddharth i'm actually ready to roll now you know answer questions Talk nineteen to the dozen, and then I realize I'm not going to be stepping out. I'll still be talking nineteen to the dozen, but I'll be doing it from the comfort of my home. So it is a new experience. But um, you know, of course, meeting people and you know when you you get that energy from even the media, and I, I meet you guys invariably only during a film release. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but uh, I guess we're making the most of what we have. absolutely but what are your film release friday rituals like do you do you have some in place no not at all <laughs> i'm so tired promoting that on the day of the release i wake up really late and you know okay. a few years ago i decided that on the day of the release i won't promote because huh. now jo hona hai hona hai you know there so there's no <laughs> need to promote it on the day of release and i wake up really late and i have a really chill day i don't read reviews or anything uh, even if i do i read it a few weeks later if someone says it's a really well worded review but otherwise people tell me siddharth reads everything there is so i get to know but i don't really i try and distract myself with other things i think i and behave like i don't know what's happening in the world <laughs> what i had a release today <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> Joke, but what is it that you're missing the most when it comes to being on a set? Because it's been almost four months. You were one of the last few to stop shooting, right? As a matter of fact, exactly today. Um, 
it's four months since yeah. Yeah. we, um, you know, decided to take a break from the shoot of Shailene. I just miss that feeling of being on the set. You know, I miss just getting up, approaching a scene, shooting for it, having so many people around you. You know, just that set atmosphere. Yeah, that energy is very different when you're shooting. I'm sure it's the same for you guys when y'all are doing stuff on a day-to-day basis. You yeah. know, I guess no, everyone. It's like someone as effervescent as you to come out into life, even out of little boxes on a screen. <laughs> so far, otherwise, I completely agree. But just going forward, it makes me wonder that I know that TV shoots did resume a little bit, but almost so soon into it, the lead actor of Kasorti is in the Kiki tested positive. What are your concerns when it comes to even approaching the new normal? Ah, uh, I think. the fact that you know if if there is on a film set or on a shoot um the density of people is very very high even if we shoot with a basic few people it's at least 10 15 people you can't do without those 10 15 people right and then if it's an ac atmosphere that's a bit worrisome so even if one person's carrying it then you're at risk of getting it you know i did a photo shoot for a brand recently there were just seven people on set everyone was in pp but you know this pp business is very tough uh, your uh, the face shield fogs up people get brain fog you know they're just generally sweating a lot even in an ac environment it's tough yeah it's tough so i don't know how we are going to resume film shoots um but i think every precaution will have to be taken we'll have to reduce the number of people on set and then in good faith just take that leap you know and and i guess we'll have to all have insurance in place so that, you know there might be delays unexpected delays on shoots because someone takes it because how do you prevent i believe there was one um, tv unit that quarantined for 14 days together outdoors before they started shooting now i think that makes sense that makes sense but that's having, what yeah. Do. yeah but that's again you know that's not not a very uh, cost effective way for most people yeah it's a huge it's a huge cost so maybe things will get a bit delayed maybe that would be the more sensible thing to do i don't know no answer is really <laughs> Oh, we're just grateful that you managed to get some shooting in, so we have releases during the lockdown to keep us entertained. People are also shooting for ad films from their homes. Yeah. Um. You know, so I think people are trying to get back, and I think we'll all have to finally get back. But there will be a risk. But um, you know, I don't think you can stop. Stop. Um. You know, work for much longer. Yeah. absolutely yeah. but really right and now i think I'm, sorry but people will have to be responsible if you're showing any symptoms you know it's not just about you you have to realize that you're putting so many other people at risk absolutely. i think those things people will have to be more responsible about yeah thank you so much for chatting with me really i'm looking forward mm-hmm. to the 30th 31st of july when we can yes shakuntala Absolutely. Please, um, you know, it it drops on the thirty first of July, and you can watch it whenever after that. But uh, maybe you should watch it on the thirty first. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for chatting with me, Vidya. Thank you. Hi, this is Vidya Balan, and if you like um, spill the tea with Sneha, please subscribe to Film Companion. <laughs>